everyone, this is Caroline, and this is the third installment of Managing Multiple Echoes. I started out by talking about the echo and the echo dot, and then we started talking about voice calling, and now we're gonna talk about with the Echo Show and how if you have multiple devices, how it's going to work in your home. So uh, the Echo Show, it's got a touch screen on it and it just it's adding a whole new dimension and it really complements your other devices in your home, assuming you've already got an Echo or an Echo Dot or a combination thereof. Uh, so let's talk about number one, the simplest thing. I, I started the original video with the Echo and the Echo Dot talking about which one responds. Do so they all respond when you talk or is it just one of them? So in the original video, I showed you how uh, the one that's closest to hearing you, even though two of them hear you, one of them would, would pick up and the other one would stop. So they both wouldn't respond. Generally speaking, that's true. Now that I've been doing this a few months, sometimes it's not just perfect. Sometimes they both do respond every once in a while. Uh, but the intent is that it will start, they'll look, both light up and then one will uh, get dark and the other one will keep on listening and then uh, do your response. So, you know, for example, um, I will, this is, by the way, this is the mute button and so it can't hear me, so when it's red it's like that. Uh, and then th there's also the same button right here on this one. So, uh, let's, let's let them both listen and let's just do a little test. Alexa, what is two plus three? The sum of two and three is five. All right, so this one responded. It was a little bit closer, and uh, but if I mute this one, then this one should respond. Alexa, what is three plus three? The sum of three and three is six. All right, and then it, it, it tells you on the screen, so that's really convenient. I'm going to leave this one on mute just to show you. Uh, the, you know, a lot of people talk about the video playing capabilities, so I'll say. Hey, Alexa, play my favorite YouTube video. Playing top result from YouTube. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it now and we're not gonna go into the YouTube okay. video. It plays a YouTube video, but that's assuming it's the closest one to you and it can hear you. So if they're both in the same room and, and you say the same command, but this one hears you, this one uh, picks up the command, this one won't do it. So let's try it now. Alexa. Play my favorite YouTube video. To play a video, make sure you've linked this echo with your video provider. Manage your devices in the music video and books section of the Alexa app. So if they're both within earshot, but you're a little bit closer to the one that doesn't play videos, it's not going to work. Uh, so the lesson here is don't have them so close together like I do here. Anyway, let's move on. We're gonna talk about calling video calling now from show to show, from the show to the Echo, from the show to the uh, companion app, and we'll do that in just a moment. And now we're gonna do video calling with somebody else with an Echo show. Uh, so let me, uh, let me call my friend here now. Alexa, call New Brew. Okay. Oh, look, there's a call coming in. It's Carol and Dunn's home. Hey, Caroline. Hey. Where are you? Hey, how you doing? Uh, looks like I can see uh, Elizabeth there, uh, but I don't see you. I'm right here. Hi. Hey, Steve. How's it how going? you doing? All right, I see the side of your face here and the camera over there. Okay, so I should be yeah. looking right here if I'm looking at the camera, but of course I'm looking at the Echo Show. Yes. So, but hey, now you can you can see you can see Steve. Steve can see me. We're having a little video call here. Uh, so anyway, Steve, what do you think? I think the video looks great. Uh, this is a 480p device, uh, but it's easy to get the call in uh, as well. My phone rang at the same time, and had I had this uh, turned on, this uh, traditional echo, uh, it would have also rang and I could have picked up my call here. I believe you have a traditional echo there as well too, don't you? Yeah, uh, right here. Got it. Yes. But now, now this is like a traditional call where it rings, I see that it's you calling, essentially the caller ID, and I can choose whether or not I want to pick up the call. There is something else we can do too, isn't there, to communicate? 
Yeah, uh, there's something called drop in. It's an opt in to drop in. Uh, so why don't you hang up and then you drop in on me and see how that works. Alexa, drop in on Caroline Dunn. And it's real blurry when you first start it, but you, you can see that uh, somebody has dropped in on you. Now, does that give the, uh, the person on the other side a chance to prepare for the conversation? Apparently, I guess. It's, I, the first time I did it, I thought that there was a latency in the video and it was, it was getting up to speed. It was buffering. But no, it's done that every single time. The video, when you call me, you can instantly see me. So that's, it's not the latency in the video itself. It's, it's just how drop-in works. Now in this case, because you've opted in and allowed me to drop in, uh, I can just pop in. So let's say you had your mother at home who might have uh, some medical conditions and you want to check on her. This could be potentially a great way to, to check up on someone who may not know how to tell you to come in, right? Exactly. That way you don't have to answer every single time. Uh, and this is, you know, this is, people are going to use this as a pet pet monitor, children monitor, babysitter monitor, you know, that, that type of environment. I think this is really cool. That is excellent. Um, of course, the other person on the other side, if you have the volume down, might not know you're, you're checking on them, but perhaps that's, that's the idea, right? Well, the video screen is going to come, come alive too, so then you'll see, you'll see yourself on video. Okay. Yeah. So you could always say, hey, babysitter, you know, you're not doing that, you should be doing this. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, so now, it's, it's a great way. Now this form factor is great, right? We, I don't know if everybody, uh, you, we'll see it here on the camera, but the back side of my camera is, or back side of the Echo Show is a little bit bigger. Uh, you can't put one of these in your pocket and take it with you, so we couldn't have this call if, if we weren't at our homes, if we were relying on our Echo Show, but we, are, we, we can also demonstrate doing this with our mobile phone. So maybe what I'll do, Caroline, why don't I reach out to you uh, you, you instead of using the Echo Show, use your your Alexa app on your on your phone. So I can and I can drop in on your phone as well. I can drop. I can give you a call. Correct. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, so I'm going to hang up now. And by the way, I'm I'm not using commands to do it. I'm I'm using the touch screen here. But you could also I could just say Alexa, hang up. But uh, Alexa, hang up. <laughs> All right. So, in the instance that both of you do, don't have an, a show, uh, you can use your phones instead. Alexa, call Caroline Dunn. Okay. Caroline Dunn. And so now my. It's Steve Youngblood's home. I can answer here or I can answer here. All right. Hey, how's this? That looks, that's fantastic. So you can see, you know, from the video here that the form factor of your video is that that you'd see on a, on a mobile phone. Yeah. So, so, but this would mean if, if you were out somewhere, I, I, we could have this type of call. Um, and uh, we're bypassing the normal transportation or the normal telecommunications mechanism. Well, if one person has a show and the other person doesn't have a show, you can still reach people that have, that have the app, essentially. Gotcha. You'd still need to have, though, an Amazon account so that you could have the credentials you need to log in and do what you need to. But nowadays, so many people have uh, an Amazon account to do their shopping they're probably halfway there to being able to to have this kind of communications with uh, with the app. And, and Caroline, another question: Can we go app to app? I believe we can. So why don't we do this? I'll hang up now, and I'm going to call you again. Pick up on your phone, but I'll be doing it from my uh, Alexa app on my mobile phone. All right, sounds good. But let's go ahead and pull up the app and make a phone call this way. So I'm going to pull up my contacts. And essentially what, uh, what this application does is it looks through your uh, address book. It'll do the same thing on an Android phone as well too. Caroline is on an Android phone. And uh, what I'm going to do is I can see it. the application knows that it has an Echo user 
or it has an Alexa app user with that email address. So let's go ahead and call. So you can have your choice. You can send a message, have a video chat, just a phone call. So let's go ahead and have that video conversation. So it's calling on my phone. Blood would like to talk. So I'm going to hit answer. So now we're both on our phones calling each other, just bypassing the echo completely. So this is now managing the uh, the managing multiple echoes and managing the companion app as well. Which, which, uh, interesting enough, had a conversation with someone here uh, just a, just a bit ago, asking, you know, uh, what was the? I think I see your video went off. I think maybe perhaps we have some uh, uh, some problems here with uh, data, but. Um, Asking, you know, would everybody always have to have an Echo and are people apt to buy the Echo? Now here's proof where uh, Amazon has, has basically built a mechanism that, you know, that we all went out to get it. We bought these Echo shows, but very quickly we realized we didn't, we don't necessarily need the hardware to extend uh, to other mediums, particularly the mobile phone. Uh, so anyway, this is neat. Well, thanks for your help today, Steve, on this video. Appreciate it. I, I hope we've been useful to you guys in this managing multiple echoes now with the show, now with the video calling. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe. Bye now.